now the most important topic from this chapter is energy after the work done by the different forces so what is mean by energy so simply energy is meant by the capacity to do the work okay it is a simple definition of energy so there are different types of energy mechanical energy there is a mechanical energy electrical energy thermal energy okay wind energy so just about different energy are there but in this we are going to concentrate on mechanical energy first we will study the kinetic energy and then we will go for the potential energy okay now to study this kinetic energy we will take a simple example a block is uh, resting on this surface having weight of or having mass of m kg now we will apply the force f to this mass okay now due to this force this block is get displaced and suppose that displacement is d here the block was at rest position okay and here mm, let's suppose it is in motion okay at this location now uh, we need to find the work done or energy transfer okay so how we can write so what's work done okay. so we know what is the work done formula for work done it is the force into a displacement right but by the second law of motion so what is work what is f is equal to what is f is equal to f is equal to m a right so how we can write the work done so work done is equal to m a d okay so f force is equal to mass into acceleration and work done is equal to force into the displacement right so now our equation becomes work done is equal to m into a into d okay and we also know the kind of three kinematic equations okay and from that second kinematic equation is what is that equation uh, v square minus u square is equal to 2as s is displacement and here i will use displacement sign as a d okay so in this what is v v is the final velocity what is u u is the initial velocity a is equal to acceleration d is equal to displacement right now as we uh, here initially the block was at rest means here u is equal to zero and at this position the block is in motion and consider the final velocity um, let us see let us consider it as a v okay now put this value of u is equal to zero okay and what we'll get here so v is v square is equal to 2 ad okay just rearrange this equation and get in terms of a a is equal to v square divided by what will get 2 d okay now put this value of a is equal to v square 2 d in this equation so we will get m into a that is v square upon 2d into d this d and d get cancelled okay and what we'll get we will get a familiar equation okay this equation we already studied it is 1 by 2 into mv square 
so what is this 1 by 2 mv square it is the kinetic energy so work done here it is the kinetic energy stored in this block that is 1 by 2 mv square okay now let us consider the unit here okay m m is mass which is in kg okay v square v square is m by s into m by s right so this we can rearrange kg meter per second square into second so kg meter per second square is the sorry here it is meter kg meter per second square it is in newton and then meter so it is newton meter and this we can write as a joule so joule is the unit of energy right now moving to the second type of energy that is potential energy that is pe so in this there is a horizontal motion okay now again take one more example if suppose a block which is having mass m is resting on a ground and we want to displace this block in upward direction to this position okay suppose this is the initial position and this is the final position okay as and uh, suppose this displacement is h okay as this block is resting on to the ground okay the force gravity will attract this mass okay that is force is applied downward is m g now in order to lift this block okay the minimum amount of force we need to apply is minimum amount of force we need to apply is m g right so here work done is equal to force into displacement this thing we know so here what is the force m into g okay and what is the displacement here h so work done here it is mgh which is the potential energy okay now the unit okay what is m m is mass what is g g is the gravity which is meter per second square and h is the displacement which is m so what is kg per meter square newton and what is here it is meter and newton meter is joule so unit of energy is joule now the topic is work energy principle we are going to find the relation between work and energy okay now we know by second law of motion that is by newton's second law of motion f is equal to m a okay now what is a a is equal to dv by dt right so this uh, we can write as dv by ds into ds by dt right so this ds ds get cancelled and you will get dv by dt which is equal to acceleration in this we know ds by dt so what is ds by change in displacement with respect to change in time so it is v so finally what will get f is equal to m acceleration is v into dv by ds so v dv by ds all right so this we can take here to this side f ds is equal to m v dv okay now if suppose we want to find this work energy principle okay when particle moves from one location to the another location okay suppose this is the initial position final position okay and particle moves with initial velocity v1 
and the final velocity v2 now what is this f into force into displacement force into displacement is the work done when particle moves from location 1 to 2 right a is equal to m so the integration of v is v square v2 v1 limit v2 and v1 so this we can write m v2 square minus v1 square so we can split this m v2 square minus m v1 square so what does it mean work done from 1 to 2 is equal to kinetic energy minus kinetic energy at 2 minus kinetic energy at 3 so what is this this is change in kinetic energy is equal to the work done from position 1 to 2 okay so this is the relation between the work and energy so this is the work energy principle so by the statement what we can see what we can say okay suppose a particle is subjected to number of forces the total work done the total work done during the displacement is equal to the change in kinetic energy right so this is the work energy principle next topic is the principle of conservation of energy so what this principle states the sum of potential energy and kinetic energy of a particle remains constant during the motion under the action of conservative forces okay this is the statement of this principle let's understand this principle okay now from work energy principle so what do we know from the work energy principle that is work done is equal to change in kinetic energy change in kinetic energy okay so this we can write as a work done to move the particle from one location to the another is equal to change in kinetic energy so kinetic energy at position 2 minus kinetic energy at position 1 right so consider this equation 1 okay now second thing is under the action of conservative forces under the action of conservative, conservative forces okay so work done work done here it is so it is negative of change in potential potential energy right so this we can write as a work done is equal to negative of change in potential energy right so equate this equation 1 and 2 so what will get change in kinetic energy is equal to negative of change in potential energy okay so just elaborate this okay so we can rewrite this and we will get is equal to okay so you can see the sum of potential energy and 
uh, sorry sum of kinetic energy and potential energy is equal to at the starting position is equal to sum of potential energy and kinetic energy at the end position means total energy remains constant throughout the motion right so this is the principle of conservation of energy now the last topic that is power so what is power so it is the rate of change of doing work is the power okay now rate of change of doing work is the power so consider for the time interval delta t so the change in work done and work done is delta u okay so to this time interval so your power is going to change okay so during this time interval the power is average power okay so average power is equal to change in work done and change in time suppose we need to find the exact power so we'll get that exact power at any particular location means what so delta t tends to zero then you will get the exact power right so when delta t tends to zero i will get the power so it is du by dt okay so we know what is du by dt so it is work done that is f ds divided by dt so what is ds by dt so it is the velocity so what we can get power is equal to f into v so force into velocity is the power now coming to the unit of power so it is the product of force and velocity what is the unit of force it is newton and what is the uh, unit of velocity it is meter per second so unit of power is newton meter per second so what is newton meter so this we can write as a joule joule per second or we can write joule per second is right so this is the si unit of power so what is the mks unit of power so it is hp okay and one hp is equal to 746 watt remember 